Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to multiply this binomial times the trinomial. And uh, to go ahead and do this, what I'm simply going to do is actually, rather than using the box method, um, I'm just going to kind of use some distributive property uh, basic components. Because basically, when we're multiplying, um, you know, with our, an expression times another expression, we're basically using just our distributive property, meaning I need to multiply 1 times each one of these terms. Well, when multiplying 1 times each one of these terms, that's going to be pretty simple. That's just going to be the basic negative 6y squared plus 2y plus 3. Then I need to multiply 5 times every single one of those terms. And so I'm going to kind of do this. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll add this up. So therefore, I'll be 5 plus 5y times negative 6y squared. Now, I could have done the exact same thing with 1, with doing 1 times negative 6y squared, 1 times 2y. But we all know 1 times any one of those numbers is just going to be exactly that term. However, here, when we're multiplying, I'm going to want to write these out. Now, this is all a positive 5y, so that's why I'm writing plus 5y. Um, if it was negative, then I'd put this uh, subtraction symbol there. Um, times 2y, and then plus 5y times 3. Now, I'm using parentheses to represent my uh, multiplication, OK? So negative 2y squared plus 2y plus 3. And obviously, you could simplify this. You could probably do those in your head. But I'm writing them out to hopefully help you not make those uh, mistakes in your head. So positive 5 times negative 6 is going to be a negative 30. y times y squared is y cubed. Remember, we add the exponents. Plus 5 times 2 is 10. y times y is y squared. And 5 times 3 is a positive 15y. Now I look for like terms, and I see here I have two y squareds. So I can combine the y squareds by combining them. I just add and subtract their um, coefficients, and I keep the term the same. And then I have 2y plus 5y. Uh, I have no other constants and no other um, y cubed. So now I'm going to write in descending order, which I'll have negative 30y cubed. Uh, negative 6y plus 10y is going to be a positive 4y squared. <sighs> plus 17y, 2y plus 15y is 17y plus 3. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how, that is one way how to uh, take the product of a binomial times a trinomial. Thanks.